In this video, we're going to be taking a look at making a small farmhouse laptop desk. So I'll go over the parts that we need. We're going to need four pieces of 2x6 that are 36 inches long. Now, of course, your uh, desk may vary from that dimension depending on how long of a desk uh, you want to make, which in my case, I, I'm making a 36 inch long desk. And then we're going to need four pieces that are 24 inches, four pieces that are 16 inches. And what I've done here is I've added a 45 degree bevel. So laid it in my miter saw, tilted my miter saw to that 45 degrees and add a 45 degree bevel on one end. Then we're going to need four pieces that are uh, 12 inches. And you can see here, I've added a 45 degree miter to both sides. And then we need four pieces that are nine and a quarter. And then we need four pieces that are six inch. And they also have that 45 degree bevel. Okay, now I am using uh, basically two by threes. I actually purchased two by fours and ripped them to the width of a two by three, which of course is two and a half inches. And I did that because the two by fours, you can see they're fairly not free. Um, so they were good two by fours. And two by threes are very hit and miss on availability in my area. And even when they are available, a lot of times um, they're not very good quality. So in this case, because we're not going with a very big desk, we wanted it uh, kind of smaller and you'll see when we put it together these leg assemblies are a little bulky and so if we left them at the two uh two by four width of three and a half i just think it adds extra bulk uh we don't need for this project okay now i am cheating here i did use one piece of treated two by six because i didn't have enough uh, of the other but the bottom's going to be painted so um you won't see that anyhow um, but it, um, at any rate i'll clear an area here and we'll take a look at uh, making our leg assemblies so what i've done here is i've taken one 24 inch piece and go ahead and i've added my nine and a quarter block to it and i've just kind of got this mocked up uh, you can see we've got that block there and then this piece is going to go on top just like that okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go ahead because i've got these two blocks attached i'm going to go ahead and put in my horizontal uh two by six piece and it's going to overhang two inches this way and two inches on that side and then once i have that in place i'll go ahead and add this bottom block to it and then we'll add our other side of our leg okay so let me go ahead and get that done and i'll show you what that looks like let me give you just a bit more detail here so what i've done is i've measured in two inches and uh, drawn a line with my carpenter square now we can see this side here i've come in two inches and i've gone ahead and just put in one screw and i've made sure that this is uh square to our horizontal piece with my carpenter square and then I'll go ahead and put in a second screw and then I'll just do the same thing. I'll just kind of loop that over when in the proper position, a couple of screws and we're good to go. And then I can flip this thing over and put in our bottom block. And you now you can see why I've chosen to assemble it this way. If you look here, this bottom block should be flush and it's not, okay? and that has a lot to do with how I cut it also has a lot to do with the actual thickness of our two by six that can vary slightly but almost always that is not a hundred percent but if you look at this side and then you look at that side it looks almost identical so but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, scribe on the bottom scribe them both and go ahead and cut them so the uh, I have the exact length on both of those because we do need that uh, to be flush. 
And there we have it. We've got those flush now. A couple of screws, a couple of screws. We're using two and a half inch screws and you can see that that is now flush. So now we're gonna take the other side of our leg, line that up. A couple of screws, maybe one screw there, a couple of screws there on both sides, of course, just like such. There we are. And go ahead and add those. Well, there you have it. You can see we did two screws, one screw, two screws. And now we're just going to uh, set it up. I'm not quite sure how we're going to uh, attach the rest of the pieces. I guess, I guess it's just going to lay down. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so then what we need to do is take our 19 and a half inch pieces and add them just like that. So we're going to do, uh, and it, you know, we do have to be somewhat mindful of where that uh, bevel is. So on one side, let's see here. So it's going to be like that, okay? So on one side, it's going to be this way. The other side, it's going to be the opposite way. Um, and so we're just going to probably do, uh, probably in the, the top and bottom parts, two screws uh, each. Now, I always uh, suggest if you have the ability to use uh, three and a half inch screws to do so. So we will switch over to three and a half inch screws here and here. Um, I probably could have used three and a half inch screws along there, but in this case, it wasn't really necessary. But anytime I, I'm uh, attaching a leg or a foot, which I am in this case, I, I like to use three and a half inch screws. They're just, they're thicker, longer, stronger. Uh, so I will go ahead and add all four of those uh, to our legs, and then we can kind of move on from there. Now, there is something to talk about here before we do this, okay? Uh, before you attach your legs. In this case, the customer is finishing this piece, and I would consider this to be the back, okay? It has the most screws showing. So um, you may consider when you're, when you're put, because the next piece that goes on is this piece right here, like so. Um, and so you may consider uh, your screw locations and things uh, when you're putting, you know, what you determine is your front or your back. So because this has more screw holes, I'm gonna flip this over and consider this to be my back. It also has a knot here, uh, which I don't believe is pr as pronounced as on the front side, or what I'm gonna call my front, okay? So I'm gonna flip it over and go ahead and attach uh, my legs. So you can see now I have all my feet in place, keeping uh, in mind of where those um, bevels are. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on these little decorative feet, if you will. So they're gonna go on just like so on both sides. It doesn't matter which side because that center board is dead center. So it doesn't matter. Just two, two and a half inch screws. I would suggest because these blocks are so small uh, to go ahead and run you a pilot hole for the screws because these do have a tendency to split pretty easily. So I'm gonna go grab my piloter to uh, give these a pilot, they'll give it a pilot hole, uh, number six pilot hole and a countersink as well. So we'll go ahead and do that so we don't accidentally split our feet, okay? Let me get that done and show you what that looks like. There are my feet, and uh, you can kind of see this is uh, squared in, and then the mitered in is on the inside. And this is the pilot hole rig I was talking about. This is the one that's made by DeWalt. Uh, they're 10 bucks a bit, so treat them carefully because that is a real sharp bit, which is nice, but it breaks very easy. And I probably bought 50 of them over my life. Uh, because my kids and myself keep breaking them. All right, so we've got our three boards here. And what I've done is I've measured in two inches. 
can see that there on both sides and I'm gonna go ahead and place this on uh, to my uh, boards here so we took our leg assembly flipped it upside down and put it right there on our two inch line and you can see here we have one screw there we can catch that backboard and then all those boards now um, we may want to add a screw here and so what I did is I took a three and a half inch screw at an angle and went through that into this and I did that on both sides so you can see that there 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 now there is one more thing to do and that's come over to my scrap pile here so when we were making those parts and ripping those two by fours down uh, to the two and a half inch width I will go ahead and put a cleat there okay so I will go ahead and cut it give it a 45 degree miter on both sides use inch and five eight screws and that will just keep these level um, and that little cleat won't get in our way now if you have a pocket hole machine which I do I'm just lazy um, then certainly we could just could have popped in a couple of pocket hole screws and taken care of it that way most of the time I'm concerned about time and cost and I feel like just using that cleat is a little bit quicker than pulling out the pocket hole jig drilling pocket holes and you know you got to have more attachments and more screws and and so to me it's just a little bit extra hassle so I will go ahead and make me a cleat and that cleat uh, so this is 16 and a half so the cleat I make it uh, 15 with a 45 degree bevel on both ends inch and 5 8 screws here two per and of course I'll measure over from the end in my case 18 inches is dead center of my 36 inch desk and this bad boy is all together okay so I will add my cleat and I'll show you the finished product all right so my cleat is in place but I did forget about these uh, these are purely decorative our little corner braces there they I, I mean I wouldn't say they're purely decorative let me let me back up they're not necessary to have this desk uh, be strong to lean on and use without so but yes they do technically add a little bit of extra strength as well Okay, so I will go ahead and use my pilot hole and go in here, use some two and a half inch screws and put those top and bottom. And then our, our uh, desk assembly will be complete. So it definitely adds, you can see it definitely will add a little bit more of a farmhouse touch to it. So I'll go ahead and get those added and then I'll show you the finished product. So there is our finished desk and you can see it's a good looking desk it's easy to put together doesn't take a lot of material in this case we used three two by fours and one uh, three two by four eights and one uh, two by six 12 footer because we're doing a three foot desk so we we're able to get our four three foot pieces, our cross piece, and then our three pieces for our desktop. That's one of the reasons we only go 16 and a half inches deep also. But you can see how bulky this back leg gets and you know how, how much extra bulk it would be if it was even wider, uh, the three and a half inch two by four width. So that's it for this one. Uh, plans are available. Uh, most of our plans are just five dollars there's an email uh, link at the bottom of our description if you drop us an email um, also our Venmo and Cash App info is there send us five bucks drop us an email what plan you want um, and we'll get it sent over to you also um, because we have so many plans available now uh, we are also gonna offer a uh, kind of a subscription uh, plan where you can get all of the plans 
that we release uh, monthly um, for, for one set fee. So that will be an option that's coming up as well for those of you who are building for profit and, and need lots of new projects that are inexpensive, tested, you know, um, we're in the Kansas City area. We sell these all the time. Um, now what we charge for the three basic three foot one is we charge $89. That's kind of our entry uh, fee. And then to, to finish this, either with stain or paint or a combination of both, we charge $80 to uh, stain it and paint it, uh, or we just charge uh, $60 if we're doing stain only, okay? So that's, that's some information there for you too. All right, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.